hello everybody and welcome to my channel so today i decided to do a get to know me tag mainly because a lot of people on facebook have been asking who is this girl behind these crazy videos we want to know this girl why is she hiding today i'm gonna be answering all your questions i got a lot of questions especially from facebook and from my subscribers so let's get to it i wrote down a list of all the questions that people asked me on facebook especially so let's begin <laughs> I'm so excited okay question number one says what's your name my name is nora moyo but right now i changed my name because you know i'm married <laughs> So my name is uh, Nora Dobin, is my name, yes. <laughs> Second question, how old are you? Okay, so how old do I look? Because a lot of people say I look 15, some people say I look 20, I've got the tiny body, you know. But anyway, my real age is 30, I'm 30 years old. <laughs> I know, right? I look so young. I'm like a vampire. We don't grow old. <laughs> Especially when I'm going out, you know, with my husband, we're holding hands. People will be like, oh, oh, isn't that a little girl? Isn't that a teenager? You know? <laughs> okay, uh, question number three. When did you get married? All right. So I got married in 20, okay, let me just say this. I got married in 2014. That was when my husband paid bride price to my father. And, you know, I'm African, so I consider that marriage. That is when I got married traditionally, 2014. And then in 2017, I moved to the U.S. And that is when I got married legally with my husband yeah how did you meet your husband okay i met my husband back in 2010 when i was flying to paris i was uh, going to paris for a holiday i saw this handsome old guy you know looking all dressed up you know he didn't dress up like a typical uh old guy he was he had swag he was wearing a jacket you know a jacket and uh some uh ripped jeans like very very ripped jeans and some nice sneakers he just looked so cool and i remember telling myself oh, who's that old daddy <laughs> he was attracted to me because of my head i was bald head so he came up to me and he was like wow where do you get that confidence and i was like what confidence and he said if you look across this room because there were so many people waiting for the same flight if you look across this room you will see that all the black women have you know fake hair there uh, they all have the same hair they all look like Beyonce you know with the with the weave and you on the other hand you're the only one in this room who is bold like where do you get the confidence because you know so many african women want to look like beyonce and you you just you and then you know that's how we started talking and from there he told me some jokes i laughed and when it was time to board the plane he gave me his card because we were not sitting in the same uh, seat. He was in business class and I was in economy, you know. <laughs> yeah, so he gave me his card and after that, I called him after one year. We met in 2010. I called him in 2012. <laughs> Can you believe it? And when I called him, he didn't even know who I was. But anyway, we, I reminded him and... He remembered and that's how you know we started talking okay question number five 
how old is your husband who so anyway let me just say this there's so many questions about my husband and mainly because after that viral video videos that have been going on people decided some people decided to you know especially people who who are taking the videos too personal they decided to grab my uh photos from my facebook and spread them and say oh this is the girl this is the girl who's who's uh talking all this nonsense who's hiding uh, behind the camera look at her husband you know so that's why I'm getting a lot of questions about my husband because somebody has been taking around the photo of my husband so anyway back to the question how old is your husband hmm how old does he look <laughs> he's so young right so handsome anyway so my husband is you want to take a guess <laughs> so my husband is 73 years old yeah i know right age gap 30 and 73 who knew that 30 and 73 would come together and make this beautiful love <laughs> number six how many kids does he have Ooh, another question about my husband okay so my husband has five kids all together my baby boy is number five that's why he got um, the nickname Dobin five because he's the last born so he's got five kids and uh, I got some other funny questions about uh, does he have kids who are older than you yes so my husband has got five kids and two of his first kids are older than me and then two they're just my babies one is 10 and the other one just turned 15 today so question number seven how did you come up with your baby's name okay i know that was coming so my baby's name i have a beautiful beautiful baby boy and his name is shaka can you name your son Shaka? Who names their son Shaka? Shaka was a bad guy. Shaka used to kill people. So why would you would you name your son after Shaka Zulu? Come on. Shaka Zulu is a very powerful name. Just me saying, just when you hear the name Shaka, what comes into your mind? You know, it's all about authority, power, king, warrior. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give my son an African name. So that's how come we picked Shaka. And that was the name we thought was so powerful and holds such authority. Okay, question number eight. Is it eight or nine? Okay, it says, is it true what Lupia Banda's grandson, Kondwani, said that you swindled a white man? me <laughs> this right here is not true this is false okay first of all i do not know kondwani i have never met kondwani in my life but however i know kondwani's brother we used to be uh in the same class back in zikas in 20 uh, 2009 2010 somewhere there andrew banda yeah andrew banda used to be my very good friend i know him this one says what is the secret behind this strong woman and do you really love your husband hmm okay you know there's no secret you know it's just you just have to be yourself you know you don't have to hide anything or pretend to be somebody you're not just be yourself and be proud of yourself be proud of your choices you know don't let somebody bring you down because of the choices you made you know because your choices are different from another person and then you're gonna feel bad about yourself no be proud hold yourself high so next one says um do you really love your husband yes i <gasps> look at this guy oh look at him isn't he lovable so handsome right i know <laughs> <laughs> yes I love my husband so much I know it's very hard to believe that I love my husband 
you know, because mainly because of the age difference, he's old, you know, he's in Kote, <laughs> and I'm young, and to make the matters worse, I look even younger than my age, you know, so some people say, yeah, she's just a gold digger, some people say she's after a green card, da 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 da, I love my sweetie mtete. <laughs> Ooh, this one is tricky. Can you find me a white man? <laughs> okay, the answer is no, I cannot find you a white man. Because, you know, it's not that easy. I get this question a lot. The only thing I can advise you is join those online dating apps on Facebook, you know, Instagram you know those dating apps there's a new dating app for my friends beatrice the sugar baby i know you guys some of you guys might know her yeah she has this new dating app it's called miss date you can join join that app it's very free and you can meet international men you know whatever and fall in love what do you do for a living okay so right now I am just a full-time wife and full-time mom. Before the COVID, I used to sell Ghanaian baskets, beautiful, beautiful Ghanaian baskets and Moroccan basket at, um, at the Saturday local market. But after the COVID, the business went down, the market was closed, was shut down. But anyway, I've been trying so hard to market online and I'm very, very bad at it. And I'm going to show you the baskets I sell. So we have one here. Do you see that? Isn't that beautiful? How do you feel when you're being bullied? Okay. So there's one thing I've learned about social media. Today they'll start talking trending you even trend they're just talking about you two three days i i used to feel bad but not anymore this one says is it true you don't support women okay this one is tricky so first of all i support women i love my women okay but i support you but you that's how I believe women support women should be about, you know. So we have last question. Have you experienced racism in America? Yes, I have experienced racism in America. And my experience is very funny because, you know, I found it funny. Though some people will, will get offended. So my experience wasn't black on white racism. My experience was, it was actually black people, people who look like me with this same skin color. They were the ones who uh, showed racism towards me. It's a group of black American men. You know, it was, I think they were about five or four, yeah. So anyway, I was talking to them, like giving them direction because that was my job to direct people to the right place, you know? So I was giving them direction and talking to them and it's like they noticed my accent, you know, because Americans, their English is, their accent is so deep, you know, you can't even, if you are not American, they're going to spot you. No matter how you try to fake your accent. Anyway, they noticed that I'm not American. And they were like, go back, oh, go back to your country. You know, I was like, oh, really? Even black people? <laughs> they were like, go back to your country. Is this some more kind of shit? She's speaking some more kind of shit, you know? <laughs> so anyway, being me with a great sense of humor, instead of getting upset, I just started laughing. That's the end of uh, Get to know me tag. I hope I answered all your questions and I, I hope now you know me the real me so 
yeah please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you guys all those subscribers i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart i love you guys thank you for your support it means a lot to me and i know a lot of people hate these uh videos but they still come to watch you know that's how it is people they'll be hating on you but they're number one again coming to watch so anyway i don't think i'm gonna stop because a lot of people say oh you should stop Ooh, hey, chan uko. Hey, be a lady you know but anyway i'll continue delivering guys and maybe i'm gonna turn down on the insults you know the vulgar language you know yeah i think i should turn down on that let me know if i should you know need to be a lady <laughs> so thank you guys thank you so much <laughs> love you